People make $75 to $80 an hour to make this weld. Here's how it's done. Hey guys, to me, it's Lance uh, from Western Welding Academy. I'm here with you today to show you step-by-step -step or pass-by-pass -pass, uh, how to do a pipeline weld. All right, so now we're gonna start off with the bead. That's the first pass. As far as the bead, you want the rod, you're gonna want the rod angled and pointed towards the center of the pipe at all times. We don't wanna put a lot of pressure on the rod. It's more of a dragging process. You get your heat set right, then let the rod do the work. Let it burn the bevels off. If you have to start pushing and jamming on the rod, you're already in a situation you don't need to be in. So after the bead, the next step is called the hot pass. And we're gonna do a little bit of grinding before we put our hot pass in. That's our next step. Okay, now that we've got it ground, the next process or the next pass is gonna be called what we call the hot pass. Basically, uh, my hot pass, I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna run my a lot hotter. That's why it's called the hot pass. And to me, you know, some guys like it ground a little more, a little less, me, not so much. And so mine, basically, I'm just touching the bottom with my welding rod and I can see it as it's going around. I can actually see the trash burning out. That's how I run my hot pass. Um, everybody's gonna be a little bit different. And you know, what works for you is, is not always what works for the other. So, but anyway, that's what works for me. Now that we got the hot pass in, we're gonna go back with our first filler. And basically it's the same. I'm gonna turn it down probably 10 or 15 from where I had the hot pass. And it's, it's really, I'm just, you know, nice, easy side to side action where I get my metal to stand up and, and uh, hopefully from there, it's just a quick buff. And then we go to the cap process. Okay, now that we got the filler in it, I've got a little area that's right through here. It's got a little concavity, a little too much for me, for my liking. Everybody's different. But anyway, I'm gonna run me a little quick strip through here, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna cap it. I'll run a quick strip. That way my cap will stand up off of that, and, and I, you won't have the concavity. But and so there's my little quick strip. Nothing fancy, but it's just enough little meat in there to stand up in the middle. That way when I come back with a cap, I'm not too concave. Now this is going to be the final touch to it, and this is what we call the cap. I'll come off the top, a few quick little strokes, and basically once I break over about 2 o'clock, for me it's just a side-to-side -side action. A lot of guys will take steps, but for me, like I said, it's just side-to-side -side action, and then I'll start giving it a little bit of step to get across the bottom, but basically that's it. Okay, friends, that's it for today. I appreciate y'all joining in and seeing the step-by-step -step process of making a downhill weld or a pipeline weld. And uh, got any questions or are interested in being a pipeline welder or just actually uh, learning downhill, come to Western Welding Academy. Well, we'd love to have you here.